Hello there. Today I just want a quick update on my Bedini's build, which is running in front of me here. It's uh, using now two coils, this one and the back one. Since last time I made this PCB, which I will make also for those coils. Uh, now it's connected to this battery. It has a consumption around 80 milliamps, which is the standard consumption for charging one battery, which is right here and connected and charging. But what came up to my mind is also if we can use it for electrolysis for production of hydrogen. So I decided to do a quick experiment and I have connected this coil to this electrolyzer I made a couple of years ago. It's made of the mesh tubes, once more inside, bigger outside. I have also some uh, coil wound, but it was for some different experiment, not used now. As you can see, it's connected. The consumption, as I say again, is only 80 milliamps, which as I said, is just only for charging the battery. But at the same time, we can actually do some uh, electrolysis because if we zoom in, we can see it's nicely bubbling. Nothing much, nothing like you can say wow, but definitely it's electrolyzing uh, the water to hydrogen and uh, oxygen. By the way, you see some white stuff uh, dissolving uh, water stone from that meshes because I didn't use it for running time and the water dry up and they woke me this stone. I pour the water in and now it's a little bit dissolving. But as you can see, it's bubbling quite good. If you imagine for 80 milliamps, you get. Um, mechanical work and you get a charging battery at the same time you get slow um, electrolysis so that's all I wanted to show you today and have a nice day bye